students. In today's lesson, I'm going to talk about present continuous tense. Let's get started. Okay, first you will identify the form of the present continuous through different examples. Then you will get to know when to use this tense. And last, you will have a kind of practice to use it correctly and appropriately. Now, I'm going to give you some examples to let you induce the form. In the first example, as you see, I'm asking you, what are you doing? I'm asking you right now, what are you doing? So, you will answer, I am studying. I am studying. And in a short form, as you see, I'm, I'm studying. So, the short form of I am, I'm, I'm studying. Let's see another example. As you see here in this picture, I'm asking, what's she doing? What's she doing? So, I have to think, she is painting. She is painting. Or, she's painting. She's painting. So, she's here is a short form of she is. She's painting. So, this action is happening right now. Another example. As you see, I'm asking, what's he? What's he doing? What's he doing? So, I have to think. What's he doing right now? Okay. He is reading a book. He is reading a book. Or... He's reading a book. He's, he's reading a book. Okay, let's see another example. Here, we have they. Two students, they. What are they doing? What are they doing? So, I'm asking about plural. So, I have to think. What are they doing right now? They are learning English. They are learning English. Or in a short form, they're, they're learning English. Okay? Now, I'm asking myself, what am I doing? What am I doing? So, what am I doing? I am typing. I am typing. Or in a short form, I'm typing. I'm typing. Here, what are we doing? What are we doing? So, I'm asking, what are we doing? So, the answer we are taking a photo. We are taking a photo. In the short form, we're taking a photo. We're taking a photo. So here is the short form and here is the full form. So here we, because it's a plural, plural, we. I'm talking here about plural pronoun using we. Okay. So, as we see from all of these examples, one of the uses of the present continuous is to describe actions are happening right now at the moment of speaking or around the time. So, here actions are happening at the present, at the moment of speaking. So, that's why we say present continuous or present progressive because it's in progress right now. Okay, this is one of the uses of present continuous. So here if you see, we have some keywords 
to identify that this sentence or this situation is happening right now. Some examples of these key words are, as we see, number one, now, now, right now, right now, at present, at present, at this moment, at this moment, immediately, immediately, still, still, listen, listen, look, look, okay? These are some significant keywords to identify that this sentence is talking about action that is happening right now. Now, from all of these examples, I want you to induce the form, okay? The form of this tense. As you see, here, first we will talk about positive sentence, affirmative sentence. Here is a summary of the form in the positive sentence. For example, I have the subject pronoun, okay, or the subject noun, plus auxiliary be, plus ving, verb ing, we will say about it, ving. Okay, means verb ing, verb plus ing. As you see here, the seven pronouns of a uh, subject, I am, I am, in the short form, I'm, I'm walking, I'm walking. So I have I as a subject, am as the auxiliary, the helping verb, and the thing means verb ing. You are, you are. In the short form, we say you, you, you reading, you reading. Okay? So you are reading. He, she, it, is. Or he's, she's, it's. Eating. So he, she, it are singular pronouns. So I will use is, he's, she's, it's eating. So pay attention please to the ing plus the verb. It's important here to add ing to the main verb. Here we have we, plural pronoun, we are. Oh. Or we're, we're, we're laughing, we're laughing. They are, they're, they are, they're, they're shouting, they're shouting. So here, the most important thing that I have to use, the helping verb is am, are, with the ving means verb plus ing. So this is important to remember this form whenever you use positive sentence. Here I want you to practice using negative form. Negative form. It's very simple. It's very easy. Here just I wanted to add not between the auxiliary be and the ving. As you see here, not is in the middle. I'm, you're, he's, she's, it, we're, they're, not, looking, playing, talking, jumping, climbing. So here not in the middle between be and the verb ing. So this is to know how to form negative sentence. For example, I wanted to say, I'm not looking. You're not playing right now. He's not talking right now. We're not jumping right now. They're not climbing right now. So here we are making negative sentences.
In this slide, we're talking about interrogative form. Means questions. How to make questions. And you know we have two types of questions. We have yes no questions and WH questions. Let's see here first the yes no questions. In the form of yes no questions, I will start with B, the helping verb B, which means is am or plus the subject plus the thing. Okay, let's see some examples. For example, I'm asking myself, am I dreaming? Am I dreaming? I'm asking you, are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? I'm, I'm asking, is he, she, it falling? Is he, she, it falling? Are we flying? Are we flying? Are they drinking? Are they drinking? So here, as you see from these examples, I'm starting with the helping verb. Am, is, are, then the subject, then the thing. This is how to make yes, no questions. Am I dreaming? So I can answer, yes, I am, or no, I'm not. Are you sleeping? Yes, I am, or no, I'm not. Is he sleeping or is he falling? Yes, he is or no, he's not. Are we flying? Are we flying? Yes, we are or no, we're not. Are they drinking? Are they drinking? Yes, they are or no, they're not. So these are the short answers for the yes no questions. Now let's have a look at another use of present continuous. As you see here, we use it for future plans. That means we can use the present continuous to talk about arrangements or plans in the future. What are you planning to do in the near future? Let's have a close look at some examples. If you look at this example, we see in this picture a girl is saying to her friend, Sorry, got to go. I'm meeting my brother at the airport in half an hour. In half an hour. So here she's using present continuous. I'm meeting. Okay, to express a plan, okay, that is happening in the near future, future, in half an hour, in half an hour. So it's coming, okay, it's coming action. I'm using present continuous. Let's see more examples. Number one, my brother is playing football with his friends tonight. So here the keyword is tonight. It's a future. It's near future. So the action is is playing. It's in present continuous. Why in a present continuous? Because it expresses a plan for a near future. Okay? So he is playing football with his friends tonight. It's upcoming action. Another example. I am or I'm buying shoes tomorrow. Tomorrow is in the future. So I'm planning to buy shoes. So I'm buying shoes tomorrow. It's near future. It's upcoming action. Another example. They're coming. They're coming. They're coming to our house this afternoon. So this keyword, this afternoon, in the future, in the near future, okay, means that I have to use 
present continuous. So as you see from all of these examples, I can use a present continuous to express, okay, actions that, okay, in plans or uh, for arrangements in the near future. For example, tonight, tomorrow, this afternoon, um, this weekend, this week, this semester. So you can induce that these are arrangements for future. I have to use present continuous. As you know, my students, the spelling rules are important in writing. So in order to avoid some uh, spelling mistakes in writing, we got to know some rules in using present continuous. Some verbs, when you want to add ing, okay, we have to make some changes. Some verbs, okay, end with e. So I have to drop e, okay, then add ing. Let's see some examples. Right here, the verb ends with e. So I have to drop it and add ing. Another one, take. So I have to drop e, then add ing. So I can't add ing in the same time with e. So I have to drop it. The third example, bake. Bake ends with e. I have to drop it, then add ing. Dance, drop e. Think, what are, what shall I do? Add ing, okay, after dropping e. But if you look at c, c here, I can't drop the last e, okay? I can't because it will change the verb, okay? So I keep it and add ing. Let's see another rule. Some verbs, okay, some verbs ends with a letter that preceded by a short vowel, a short vowel. For example, here set, t preceded by short vowel, i. So I have to double t, double t before adding ing. Set becomes sitting, sitting. Let's see here, swim, m, preceded by short vowel. Okay, so I have to double m, then add ing. Swimming, as you see here in the red, double m. Travel, travel, l, preceded by short vowel. So I have to double it, double it. So two l's, as you see in the red. Traveling, traveling. Get, get here T preceded by E, short vowel. So I have to double T, then add ING. We have run. N preceded by, okay, short vowel. So I have to double N, then add ING. But look at this verb, rain. Rain here, in, preceded by long vowel, diphthong. What does this mean? It means I have two vowels, so no doubling, no doubling, okay? So here it's important to know that when we uh, have the last letter preceded by two vowels, so no doubling, okay? But here, run, running, double N, because short vowel. But here, no, two vowels, so no doubling. So please pay attention to this important point. Another spelling rule here, we have some verbs ending with uh, IE, IE, like lie. 
die. So whenever this verb ends with ie, I have to drop ie, okay, uh, or to turn it into y. Turn ie into y, then add ing. So lie becomes lying in y. Die, I have to turn ie into y, then add ing. So as you see, lie lying, die dying. Okay, I hope that uh, this is clear for you. Okay, let's have some practice. Are you ready? I want you to think of these questions you have to complete with the present continuous tense. Let's see number one. Lock. Lock. So lock is a key word for what? For a present continuous. Lock. It. Mm -mm, rain. So think of your answer. Number two, excuse me, I, mm -mm, for the bank. So you have to use or to correct the verb block. How can you use it? Number three, they, mm -mm, this week, this week, they're on holiday. So you have to correct the verb between brackets, not work so how can you correct it here okay so pay attention it's in the present continuous because this week okay it's something okay in the near future so what's your answer number four she mm -mm, right now cock you have to correct the verb cock here so what's your answer? Number five, we mm -mm, married in the summer, in the summer, okay? It's near future, it's a plan, it's arrangement. Do you remember that? So how can I answer, okay? Or how can I correct this verb, get here? Try to think. Think carefully, write down your answers, please. And now I will give you the answers, the answers keys to check if your answer is correct or not. Let's see the correct answers. Number one, look, it is raining. Or it's raining. It's a present continuous because lock. Excuse me. I am looking for the bank. I am looking for the bank. Okay? So, I am looking. Is your answer right? Okay. Let's see number three. They aren't working. They aren't working. Okay? They aren't working this week. Why? Because they're on holiday. So I'm using here negative. They're not working. Let's see number four. Right now, it means continuous. So she's cooking. She's cooking. She is cooking right now. The last one, check your answer. We are getting married. We are getting married. So, because it's arrangement, it's a plan for a near future, it's in the summer. So, I will use get and present continuous. And remember, here get we double T because as we said, the last letter preceded by a short vowel. I wish that you got full mark, okay? 
and please pay attention to uh, the mistakes if you uh, made a, a mistake or more and try to avoid it okay uh, in your upcoming practice let's hear in this slide practice uh, short questions and answers look at this picture we have the verb cry now can you please make a question yes no question because i want a short answer try to think what is your question about this picture in the present continuous so the question is the baby crying is the baby crying because it's now i'm talking about it now is the baby crying yes he is yes he is let's see picture number two cock the verb cock look at this man we have a cross so how can you make yes no question is the man cooking is the man cooking so no he's not no he's not third one we have this picture and this verb do how can you make a question it's no question are the boys doing their homework are the boys doing their homework okay yes they are yes they are so as you see we give you some practice how to form yes no question okay using um this form and how can you give short answer at the end thanks for watching this video hoping that you've learned the present continuous tense perfectly